everyone welcome back to Dila's kitchen this recipe is traditional Easter time classic in South Africa and it's served mainly with hot cross buns or homemade bread I'm a firm believer in tradition and it's about customs and practices passed on from one generation to another today I'll be making pickle fish so let's get to it okay I've got 10 onions that I chopped up in rings this is how I cut the onions um, it looks a lot, but once it starts cooking, it's going to shrink. So yeah. it's really not a lot of onions. I've got two tablespoons of oil, and I'm adding my onions to the pot. Okay. I've got a cup of water that I'm adding. And I'm going to cook this until it's soft so I'm doing a small batch of pickle fish today so you can decide whether you want to use cartridge powder hot raja mild raja I'm also using curry leaves and peppercorns and I'm just going to show you how I mix so I've got a half a cup of brown vinegar here two tablespoons of sugar that I'm mixing. I've got three tablespoons of raja. So you can decide whether you want hot, mild, whichever way. So my onions have cooked for about 30 minutes. It's also up to you how soft you want your onions. I'm just seasoning it with a bit of salt and I've got some curry leaves here. Fresh curry leaves that was in the fridge, so it's not that fresh anymore. I've got a tablespoon of peppercorns. And then I'm just adding this to it. Okay, so this is going to simmer on a very low heat. You add a bit of water, you can add more sugar, you can add more raja if you're not happy with it. So now you just let it simmer mm -hmm. and you can just add, taste and add and taste and add. So I use hake fish. I buy my fish from eatery. It's a friend of mine. Um, it's really beautiful, thick pieces of hake fish. You make sure your fish is completely dry once you start with it. I'm going to season it with some salt, both sides. As well as pepper. I've got some egg and I've got some flour here and I've got some corn flour. I'm going to do a few just with corn flour and I'm going to do a few with egg, dip it into egg. So I'm going to start off by dipping it into the egg and then into the flour. Okay, I've added some oil to my pan. Obviously, more oil. Um, I'm adding my fish. The oil is hot. I'll be frying it two minutes on each side and then I'll just flip it, turn it around. Flipping my fish. I'm removing some of the fish Angelo My fish has been frying off on that side um, I put it on paper towel so we can absorb the oil so once the fish is done, then we'll put everything together and finish off. 
So my onions are done. I didn't add anything to it um, and allowed it to cool off as well. So I'm just going to put everything together now. Okay, starting off, I add a bit of onions to the bottom. So this, my mum would make it two days in advance, like the Wednesday for the Friday. Just packing the fish. Just using a smaller bowl now, but I normally use a Tupperware to put it in the fridge. And I just want to make it easy and show you how to lay it. So I think pickle fish is one of our biggest traditions when it comes to Easter time. Um, my mum used to make our pickle fish, like everyone's pickle fish, and she would never measure. And when she passed on, we had to come together and figure out how much of this and how much of that in order to get to this specific recipe. So this recipe is actually very special to us. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The link and the recipe will be in the description. Thank you for watching and God bless.